Ooh, Grandma DC here. Tired. <laughs> and I know you're all dying to find out if I got hacked, and yes, I did, but a little bit worse. It wasn't really a computer hack. Apparently, they had sent me a new debit card and somebody must have intercepted it in the mail and they've been swiping it at different places. I never swiped that debit card. Um, it's just I never used it for that. I didn't know the PIN number and it's not my main bank account. So, yes, I was hacked. And they stole about $200. It's about what I thought. So, the bank is on it, and then when I said, and this is what my GoFundMe campaign says, they made all these deposits. And they looked in it, and they said, uh-uh, nothing. And they said, I tell you what, they said, if they didn't put a zero in front of your uh, routing number and all that, we would have just sent it back. She says, and they should have uh, it down that we sent that money back. I said, thank you. You sent all those deposits back because there was not a zero in front of my routing number. Gotta be perfect in the age of computers. You don't want someone erroneously giving you money. Got my uh, coconut oil here. Can't remember where I picked this one up at. And I'm going to put it a little thin layer, but generous onto this parchment paper. Yes, my hands are clean. It's my peanut butter. <laughs> and now I'm going to pour my peanuts on. Oh no. Eh. I'm going to put a few down here. Uh, you know, my pink Himalayan salts disappeared around here. Who took it? I probably used it. Don't remember. I thought the same thing about my money, though. Thought I used it and didn't remember. No, not me. Somebody else having a good time. Now, my best guess, when I don't know what temperature or how long to cook something, is to go 375 to 380. Now, I thought about broiling these, but then I thought, what if they burn? And I don't want burnt peanut taste, although I do like burnt peanut. They need to be French burnt peanuts with sugar on them. <laughs> no. So, I'm going to go 380 degrees. I'm letting my oven warm up. And I never preheat an oven. It can preheat while the food's in it. So we have here. Five minutes to reach temperature. And I'll check on them in 10 minutes. Let's give it 15 minutes and we'll check on it. In the meantime, if you're like me, you have been curious as to what those salted and dehydrated egg yolks are doing. Well, let's find out together. Let's see. There's my lamb's quarter. Aha! My lamb's quarter is dry. Cherry tomato. Aha! I'm trying to figure out which sheet they're on. I dehydrate a lot of things at the same time. So here they are. They have a little bit of give to them. All right. I'm going to sit you here and hope you can see this. Up close and personal, I'll sit you up a little. All right. I, I have no idea. Here's my lamb's quarter dehydrated. Here, listen. Did you hear that? Crumbles right away. I don't know what these will taste like. I'm, uh, I'm going to cut a sliver off of here. I may have gotten them too dry. No, no, there's still some moisture. I mean, that's the way they show them on most of those things. But there's still some moisture. Hope it's focusing. So I think you remember I buried these in salt for two days. And I took them out and I rinsed the water off. And then I stuck it in my dehydrator. And it's been in there for a day. <laughs> I just had it in there with everything else. It's kind of me. I'm like, how long did you dehydrate for four hours? Hey, Graham, I'll get it out in four days. Are you ready? I'm going to taste this. They said that it was salty. That's true. And uh, keto headbanger. 
is the one that does this. I'm going to give credit where credit's due because, frankly, that's awful. Yeah, it's just salty and rather tasteless. Maybe I dried it too much. I mean, for a protein source, if you just wanted to say, hey, you know, I've got protein and I, you know, carved this up. It was a way to preserve the extra eggs I had and I sprinkled it on my salad. It'd be like putting salt, just salt, on your food and adding protein or fat. This is more of a fat than a protein, I think, but it's also got protein, but it's a fat. Smells like a kind of an eggy cookie. But otherwise, it doesn't have much taste. Not my favorite, but then again, I'm not an egg fan. So there you go. Straight from Headbanger's Kitchen. Salted, pickled, and dehydrated eggs. You need to get fats and you want to grate them up and put them on something. That'd be fine. I think my animals are going to enjoy them for a salty treat. <laughs> yeah, not me. Thank you for watching. And we're going to go ahead. The tomatoes are done. Super dehydrated. My favorite. And I will use these little concentrated tomato pieces. I can grind them up as soon as I get a grinder again. And um, powder them. I opted to dehydrate some of the little yellow tomatoes. They're not done yet. You can see they've got too much give to them. This is lamb's quarter. And I'm just going to crumble it up into here. I pull it off. The only part of the stem I kept was this little thin part here. If you don't like that, you can break it off. But when you zip it up, it's going to just powder anyway. And it's all got nutrients and goodness in it. And I am going to crush it down in here until I can get me another like ninja little thing to zip. <laughs> because mother zipped up mine with some dirt and eggshells and uh, my ninja blender went <laughs> she, she's going to get me another one one of these days when she gets some money <laughs> the peanuts are also about done let's check one I'm going to give that another 12 minutes at 380. How do I come up with these numbers? I don't know. The universe just speaks to me. And 10 and 12 minutes seems to be about right. <laughs> as soon as they're a little bit golden and they taste peanutty here. And there, there's a little jar and one little baggie. Five pounds of tomatoes and that's what it's reduced to in the dehydrator in two days I'm wondering if I can climb in the dehydrator and would it do that for me grandma DC lost a hundred and twenty five pounds in the dehydrator in two days <laughs> aren't those pretty I had to sit them up here on top of the <laughs> coffee maker because the cats were trying to get into them perfect okay I stuck them in the oven and turned it on 380. Left them for 12 minutes. Put them in for 12 more minutes and I just turned the oven off and I had to go to the bank. Try to straighten some of that out. A whole different vlog. Now, I'm just going to throw these into my food processor and I'm going to run the heck out of it and we'll see what we get. My peanuts are in the uh, food processor and I'm going to add my personal favorite, just a tiny, tiny... Skosh. Is that a measurement? A skosh? Tiny, tiny skosh of stevia. Because I like my peanut butter a little sweet. We'll see how that works. So I ran it for maybe five minutes solid and... Um, my food processor is getting warm, so I decided to give it a break and check on it. And it's all crumbly, like um, 
like dirt. Now, from what I understand, watching YouTube, uh, this is good. This is a, it's a process. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to scrape it down from the side, scrape it in the middle, and we're going to turn it back on some more. They say it takes a while for those oils to come out. And if any of you would like to come and comfort Angus, what is your problem, Angus? What? What? What is your problem? Why are you crying? Huh? <coughs> There's food in your bowl. Why are you crying? <coughs> I don't know what his problem is. I think he wants a treat. He ain't getting one when he acts like that. One more go around. I think it's starting to turn into a paste. It's like a stiff paste now. It's like starting to hold together a little bit more. I put a teaspoon of coconut oil in there just to kind of help it along. And there you have it. I'm going to call it good. And I have to tell you, the taste, huh, it's amazing. Now it's a little like, I'm going to say gritty, because my processor just can't get it as smooth as it should be. If I had a really good processor, it would be awesome. But the flavor is amazing. And I got to salt it the way I liked, and I got to use the stevia and the coconut oil. So I know this has got to be healthier. And I'm going to put it in a little jar, container, and uh, whenever I need a little boost, maybe just take a teaspoon or so and stick it in my mouth and mmm. <laughs> Give me that little fat of peanuts and stuff. I know, the argument with peanuts. Um, it goes on to total carbs or fiber and subtract that and do net carbs. I don't know. You do what you want, and um, I'll just keep it easy on it. That's what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Don't forget to hit like, share, or subscribe to keep up with the insanity. Uh, Angus is still crying. Why? Why? What is your problem? What is your problem? I don't know. Gotta go. Love y'all. Bye-bye.